Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you my new 3D printer. I already got three others but I'm going to sell one and I'm going to use uh, this one and this is a uh, Vertex K8400 and this is a uh, two heads printer as you can see one filament on this side and one filament on the other side and this uh, printer have uh, two heads that combine into one so it's not like two heads that move and one print one color and the other one print another color so it's one print and then it's the other head print the different color so it's one head two nozzle and this is the first uh, two things that i print first ever with a two colors 3d printer the first one was not looks so uh, good but it looks okay now it was have a lot of uh, dust on it and I have to clean it I didn't know why but then I dip into it and I learn how to use printer with two heads so I print this one opposite color as you can see and this looks much better and much nicer and then I print few days ago I print another parts and do some tests in the names and I combine file together and stuff like that so I play with it a little just to learn how to use it and then I get a problem the heads on the that got attached to the red color here was stop print and it was horrible and it wasn't work at all so I open it a few nights ago I open it all night I see it I wasn't managed to fix it and then I say okay you can print with the other head still there is no problem there is two heads but then I thought I bought it so I can use it with two colors so I have to fix it and then yesterday I come in ID uh, how to manage to fix it and it's all about this small little tube here that you can see I'm going to show you the print head and then I'm going to show you what I've done with it <laughs> So as you can see here, this is the print head and the other print head is on the other side. As you see, they both connected together. But when I open this part down, I take off all these parts, including the cable that you see right here connected. And I took off this piece. To take off the nozzle, I was have to open this one. So I didn't, I couldn't take it off from here because there is no grip on this one so I saw a few holes here as you can see it's a hole inside so I stick something inside so I have a better grip and then I can open this screw but what I didn't know is that in this brown thing that you can see here there is this tube here tube that sits all the way and it's of course when I stick something inside it's make a hole in it and then it's damaged so yesterday I open it, I take off this, I take off all the screws here and I managed to push the tube that was damaged outside and then I put a new one and right after I put a new one everything is working perfect. So sometimes I hear that there is a little problem so if you have this Velman Vertex K8400 and you have a little problem with the print and it's not print so good it means that this tube it might be damaged so you need to open take only this piece out all of it but this piece naked hold it in your hand and push something to push the plastic tube outside and then put a new one measure it so it be it exactly with the printhead so that's how I fix it very simple and if you have any problems that's how you solve it so as you can see very small tube fix it I sit six hours the other night and I didn't manage to fix it and now with this tube normal tube that you can see here normal tube you can use it's no problem it's not a special one this printer is very expensive the printer cost 10,000 corona and I check for the printhead to change one of the printhead and it cost 3,000 corona so that's a lot of money so and I thought also to upgrade to E6 3D it's a new uh, 
a print head that you can buy, but you need to mount and then you need to 3D print a mount, which I have no problem because I have a 3D printer that I can print parts for this one. But then you have to do something with the electricity, the fan, so it was a big uh, mess. But now I managed to fix it, very simple, small tube, solve all the problem. The printer, it's really, really nice, it prints really, really good, as you can see here. The colors and everything, it looks pretty nice. And I learn also a lot of tricks and tips how to print uh, and get a clean uh, part. So that's also very, very nice and it helps a lot compared to the first part that I just print. But now I know how to print with two colors, so I'm going to make it even better. That's all I want to show you today, how to fix a nozzle that stop print or print uh, uh, horrible. Just make sure when you put it back together so it's been the same level as the other nozzle because it must be the same height, exactly. When you put it back, it's supposed to be the same level. So I hope you like this video, share it if you like it, subscribe if you love it, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.